Hey there guys, it's Melanie Ferguson here with Southern Crush at Home where I hope to inspire you all to create and decorate a home that you love. Tonight I'm hopping on here. Listen, if you're watching this live, um, great. If you're watching on the replay, do me a favor and type out replay so that I know that you um, are watching it. So as you hop on, say hey. Uh, let me know how you spent the hours in your day today because I would love to get some fresh ideas from you guys. I'm sure a lot of us by now are looking for ideas to keep us busy, keep our family members busy, and just really fill up the time. So, um, yes. Hey, Miss Julie, how are you tonight? How are you, Denise? I'm so glad everybody's popping in. So, um, hey, Pam, I've got a super fun project. And, well, I hope it is. I hope it is. I had it in my head how it was going to go. And so, but I was super, super nervous about it. Um, hey, Teresa. Hey, Shelly. How are you? Hey, Mavis. How are you? So, um, yes. Hey, Janice. Hey, Norma. I am just here like saying hi to everybody, but I really want to know, hey, Miss Michelle, what you guys did for your day so I can get some inspiration myself. Um, I have been busy. I don't know how many of you guys know, but I run a creative business coaching group. So I coached um, tons of people. Actually, it was, um, let's see what the numbers are. I've got over 1,500 in one of the groups. So I've been busy coaching today, and then I did a little bit on my blog, which is southerncrushathome.com, if you are not familiar. And I always appreciate you guys for just popping over there here and there just to kind of give it a peek because that helps me out. That gives me, that. that's, that's how I make money. Um, hey, Diane. Yay, you caught me. Hey, Reba and Kimmy. So tonight, we are going to hobnob. Does anyone know what hobnob means? And um, I think what it means and what we're going to do is two totally separate things. I, I think that we're going to be doing two totally separate things. But I just thought it rhymed. And you know how I always think that I'm just clever and it kind of backfires. But um, yeah, I just think I'm clever. So Jennifer did homeschooling and playing outside. Yay. Um, okay, Becky watched old videos. I'm so glad we have those for you guys. Hey, Liz and Carol. Um, okay. Hey, Amy. I'm so glad you popped in. So this is what we're doing. We're going to sprinkle. Sprinkle means share. And what you're going to do is be doing this for one month pass. Get this straight. A one month pass to crafting on a dime. Give me some hearts if you're excited to get that. Because I know a lot of you guys um, signed up on the wait list for crafting on a dime. And then life happened. And you weren't able to. But this is a chance to get one free month. Of crafting on a dime and you don't want to miss it because this is going to be the first full month in April so if, if you get picked tonight then um, you are gonna get one free month oh thank you um, tell me your name again wit I feel like you told me it was Jane or um, something like that Janice maybe um, okay so it means chit chat so there you go no surprises here we're gonna hobnob chip chat but i do have a project i do have a project and i wanted to tell you a little bit about the project you guys get busy doing this so that you can get a free month of crafting on a dime.com so excited for you if you are worried about not winning or you don't you can always still sign up there's time okay michelle got some um Michelle got some fresh air and some sunshine. Amy can't wait for Thursday's craft. Yes, it is going to be super simple. Um, so tonight we are going to do um, a hobnob. You guys guess it? Did you guys guess my project? I was super nervous about it. So I went ahead and practiced it. You guys know I do not practice anything ever. So this is a big deal. This is a big deal to um, have already practiced this for you guys but I just wanted to make sure it was gonna work. I just wanted to make sure it was gonna work. Um, plus I had to do half of it outside, if that doesn't give you a clue. And so, and look, does this give you a clue? Does this give you a clue? It's not a good day if your hands aren't just covered in um, paint, right? So I have been busy painting and getting this prepped for you guys. It's gonna go super fast, so fast. 
Um, Pamela, you and your granddaughter made a ribbon wreath today. Yay! I'm so glad you guys are keeping yourselves busy. So this was my inspiration. What is this? This is milk glass that is hobnail pattern. And that is why we are hobnobbing. <laughs> that is why we are hobnobbing. Give me some hearts if you love this as much as I do. So, um, let's see here. Janice, your hands are painted too. So this is just, um, it could be a candlestick, which I believe is what it actually is because it goes deep down in there. Um, or it could be like a candy dish, but the base isn't that big. I mean, yes, it works, but it's it's not real. I, I feel like this was actually a candlestick. So um, this is one of my favorite pieces. I've got multiple pieces, but I wanted to see if I could figure out how to DIY hobnail milk glass. Are you guys excited? Are you guys ready to see what I found to work? How I got it to work? Um, I am so excited to share it with you guys. So first of all, you may not have all this right now, but when the stores open up again, you can grab it, or you may have, you might get creative and you may be able to figure out a way to work this out for yourself because there's tons of ways to do it, guys. But I just made up one that I was like, oh, I wonder if that would work. And so I dug in my stash and I found this um, pop dot adhesives from Dollar Tree that I grabbed several months ago and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. Hey, B Bay Grace, how are you? From Mississippi. It would, Brooke, it would. All right, so these little pop dots gave me some inspiration and I was like, I want to make some hobnail milk glass using these pop dot adhesives. So this, these are um, from the Dollar Tree. So it was a pack of two sheets of these um, adhesives for $1. So I went ahead and I made a sample um, piece of milk glass for us uh, so that I could see if it would work. And so this was the piece that I used the dots from, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, um, but my project is already um, mostly done, okay? But I'm gonna show y'all how to do it, and I'm gonna give you some, some quick ideas and some tips from what I learned as I did it. So um, I can do another whole thing with these. Uh, it went a long way. So this covered my piece by itself. So I um, have an idea. This is like a glass vase from the Dollar Tree. And again, that makes the whole project a dollar fifty, and then your spray paint. So you're gonna need some spray paint. Um, I just happen to have this spray paint. I'm not saying this is the best spray paint. In fact, looking at my piece, I would almost go an even whiter color, but this one, <laughs> This one says Fusion All-in-One Paint and Primer, and it was a satin white, and I did want some um, shine to it. I probably would go glossy white if I had to do it again. So just to kind of give you that tip. Um, and so this is just a clear glass, and I just wanna show you, I'm not gonna do a bunch, but I wanna give you some inspiration. So another cute idea, besides just a plain glass, this already had flowers and it, it's kinda of dirty, which is perfect for painting. Um, but you could go like halfway up. You could go halfway up. And you could do one of those carafes. You know those wine carafes that you can put like olive garden salad dressing in and um, they're kind of hourglass shaped? You could go halfway up the bottle. Oh, y'all, it would be to die for. So you guys know my handy dandy stylus. I grabbed this and I took the back of the um, adhesive dots and peeled it backwards. So now I have the dots ready and I just went to town. So I'm down here. I'm just gonna poke it out. See how I'm poking it out? And now it's started and I can grab it. So I'm gonna grab this little dot and I'm going to just stick it on the glass. 
and you just need to decide ahead of time what your pattern's gonna be, how you want to design your piece. So I'm gonna show you real quick the pattern that I went with in case um, it's just something that you want to mimic. Um, so I did kind of like what you would see if you were rolling a dice, or I guess if it's one dice, it's a die, right? It's a die. Um, so, I did just a pattern of five. You guys can see how I'm just grabbing these off of here. And I did it um, I did it a row at a time. So this little stylus just made it so much faster for me to, um, to move on it. So here's the four, there's the four. And then I grabbed the fifth one for the center. I should put this down, huh? The fifth one for the center and I just did it right here but what I would do um, is go up a row as high as you want and then up the next row as high as you want and so on and so forth and now I just eyeballed this guys I did not take like measurements you guys know I don't measure anything so um, I just eyeballed it and then you can go back in the center of each square and put a dot, okay? Pop dots, any craft or scrapbook store, Linda? Yeah, probably. These were from the Dollar Tree, and so um, I'm just encouraging you guys to, to go cheap on this because it's just for fun. Is it gonna look exactly like milk glass? No, no. Guys, milk glass is beautiful, and this hobnob pattern is just to die for. It's so feminine. Um, but it's just the fun of making it yourself. And these are pieces that I could use on a cute like Easter centerpiece, guys. Even if we don't get to have company, I want it to still be special for my family. So um, I'm going to make a cute table. I'm going to continue to cute up my Easter centerpiece for my table. So after you get all of the glue dots on, now let me just tell you, they're not glue dots. They're um, pop dots. They're, they're self-adhesive. I just want to make note for you guys that, like I said, I peeled off the back and I was taking the individual dots from one side to the other, okay? They are adhesive on both sides, okay? They're adhesive on both sides. So um, I left the, the paper on the, the one side for ease of use. Um, again, it's not going to be perfect, but it was just easier to be able to touch the glass and stick them on here if they weren't sticky on this side too. So just, just letting you know about that. All right, once that is done, you guys, I'm not gonna insult your intelligence. You know how to spray paint, okay? You would just take the spray paint and take light strokes um, outside. So I spray painted in my living room while ago. Um, I just did, okay, I just did but it was a little bit strong, so I had to take it outside to finish. But I started in here because I thought, oh, it'll smell good and it'll make you know things smell better. Um, and I don't know, I don't know. Yes, June, they are foam. They're foam, they're raised, so they're 3D. They're not just um, flat stickers, they're 3D pop-up. I think they're really good for photos. Do you know how you would put like a double-sided sticker underneath a photo to mount it? Um, I think that's what they're really probably for, but I was like, what do I have? What do I have? Because I want to make some of this. So I'm going to show you guys what mine looks like, and then I'm going to give you a couple of more ideas of where you can use it, and we'll be done. Guys, it is so short and sweet, so be sure to do this so you can be one of the ones, and come back and tell me you did this so that you can be um, in the drawing to win a free month of Crafting on a Dime. Free month of Crafting on a Dime. All right, so drum roll. I hope it's dry enough to pick up. I guess it's too bad if it's not because I already have paint all over me. And we're gonna decorate this real quick. It won't take but a second. So this is my milk dotted mason jar. This is my milk dotted mason jar. Give me some hearts, give me some love, encourage me, give, give me some love. This um, turned out so cute. I thought it's precious. Um, I just got sticky on my hands again. I um, 
absolutely love it. I just finished this a minute ago. I just wanted to make sure it was gonna work. You see the pattern I went with? It was the five um, so that it would be the same and consistent. Um, it's, is it perfect? No. Is it exactly like milk glass? No, guys, no. But it's super close. And even if it's not, it screams spring. It screams spring. So I adore it. So this is my version of hobnobbing uh, milk glass. All right. So I still have my jar here. I spray painted the lid too. Um, this was a jar just to kind of give you a, a, just a real quick, this is not a regular mason jar because you know a regular mason jar has the wording on it and the wording would show through. This one is smooth all the way around. So I don't know if y'all remember that Dollar General had um, the Hawking mason jars last Christmas that had the little snowflakes on them. And so I grabbed a few um, and this is just one of the ones that I had that was smooth all the way around, but I know you can grab these smooth all the way around. Okay, so let's decorate it real fast. I have a quick idea for decorating it. So I grabbed this sweet, sweet, sweet um, ribbon out of my ribbon stash. Um, and this is just, I forget what it's called. What is it when it has the little stitches around it? I know there's a name for it. You guys help me out. What is it called? What is that called? Something. Anyway, so here's what happened. I grabbed this at a thrift store um, a while back and it was in my ribbon stash, right? And I just opened it. I just got the tape off. There's still tape on it right now. Um, I got the tape off and I was unraveling it and I was just like, um, oh, those are called pickle jars? Um, Harriet, okay. Uh, all right, and guess what I learned? Guess what I, top stitch, thanks Linda, LaDonna, sorry. Yay, um, guess what I learned? Guys, this is crazy. I've never seen this in my life, but maybe you guys have, I don't know. This is self-adhesive ribbon. <laughs> I'm like in awe. This is self-adhesive ribbon. <laughs> Okay, yes, definitely. Um, you would not believe it was the stick on dots. Yes, Joy, it was. All right, so look, look what we're doing here, y'all. Look, we are peeling this backing off the ribbon. Come on, give me some hearts for that. I'm like performing magic tricks here, right here tonight on the video. Guys, right here tonight on the video. So. When I discovered that, I was overjoyed and I wanted to, um, oh, Harriet, that's so sweet. I wanted to put this right here, right where there is a little lip. So I'm gonna try my best to get this sticker ribbon all the way around. Sticker Ribbon City. You guys are being such a good audience. Loving on the video, sprinkling the video. Yeah, it's not washi tape, June. This is literally ribbon. It is soft, just like you would use this ribbon for a bow for someone's hair. It's soft. Um, it just happens to have sticky tape on the back, which I am just loving. Just absolutely loving because this jar is gonna be my spring jar. I must have gone to town the wrong direction with it, but that's okay. All right, thank you, Sue, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna trim this right here. So this was the ribbon and it had tape. I don't know, I don't know. Betty, I got that at a thrift store, I'm so sorry. Sometimes the things I find are so strange and they're so one of a kind but i always enjoy just going ahead still and sharing them with you because hopefully you have fun watching and learning about it even if you don't know exactly where to get it or aren't able to find it too so this is uh with the ribbon i did the ribbon wrong y'all 
it's tape. It's like it's tape, but it's ribbon. Hold on. I'm going to do it down here on the bottom. There's no like perfect place to do it. Okay, here's the ribbon on the jar. The jar is still sticky on the bottom, y'all, so I'm trying to be really careful with it. Um, and now it is ready for florals, or let me show it up close. You can see the ribbon, you can see the knobs, the hobnobs, the, the um, I don't know. It just screams spring to me. Let me put it down here so you guys can see a little better. It's like the video doesn't care. Hold on. The camera, the camera doesn't care if you see it or not. Sorry, I'm making y'all dizzy. I'm just trying to get it straight now at this point. I'm just like, where have we gone? Where have we gone? We have gone off the video. Oh, that's funny, Cindy. Um, okay, so y'all, this is the hobnob jar. And this is the hobnob jar, hobnob jar with the ribbon. So super cute so far, super adorable. Give me some hearts if you think you'll make one, especially once you can grab these, these um, dots from the Dollar Tree. Dots from the Dollar Tree. And any glass, that's the fun part. You can use any glass, guys. So I'm gonna show you another idea that I have to do this on. Because once I got started, I was like, Oh my gosh, we have created a monster. We've created a monster because I'm going to be wanting to do this to everything, y'all, to everything. I don't know why I'm holding it like that because it's just all over me. Um, the show must go on. The show must go on. All right, for those of you who are just joining us, this was the pattern I used. It's like the shape of a five die, dice, die. Okay, so my next idea is you can take old candy candles, old candles. Once they're down, I got to wait for this one to get used. I'm going to start burning it tomorrow. And then you can soak off your label or peel it off. This one comes off pretty easy. And I can hobnob this. I can hobnob this. And then I thought about this candle and I know it's old. It's got soot on it. We're almost done with it. I did this stencil on it with you guys. It's a chalk paste stencil, so it can wash right off. And hello, <laughs> it can wash right off and I can go ahead and use this and hobnob this. Guys, I'm going to be an unstoppable freak when it comes to hobnobbing my stuff. Okay. I'm going to call it hobnobbing. I'm just going to put that right there. It's called hobnobbing. <laughs> and then I thought, do you know how you get those, um, you get those, uh, I'm going to show this again because somebody said they couldn't read it. Um, you get those really plain, clear glass salt and pepper shakers at the Dollar Tree. Yes, I'm going to be hobnobbing those. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, once you get you a two pack of them stickers, you're going to just be stickering everything. And if once you decide on your actual um, spray paint color, you're gonna be hobnobbing everything too. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Y'all are amazing. Um, yes, like I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, there are other techniques. There's 3D puff paint, there is adhesive, there is uh, caulk. You can use all sorts of things, but I had never known, or I don't know of anyone who's ever used these pop dot adhesives for doing a um, milk glass. And where's our example? Here's our example. This was our inspiration, and this is our final. What do you think? Carol, I don't know where they are at your Dollar Tree girl. You have to look at it, look for them. They're in the craft aisle. My Dollar Tree had a craft aisle. Um, yay, Roxanne already has some for scrapbooking. That's awesome. Yay! 
Will you guys sprinkle the video? I'm gonna come back and pick somebody for a free month of craftingonadime.com. If it's not you and you wanna join us, we have a new project starting this Thursday and I would love to have you in there. It's craftingonadime.com and we do things like this that are super, super inexpensive and beautiful. So I appreciate you guys for um, following me and liking this page. You guys have an amazing evening. You might also, Brenda, find it online at the Dollar Tree uh, website. I don't know if they're shipping right now. I don't know what the situation is, but I wanted to show you guys this before. Um, I just wanted to show you before ever. Just, I wanted to show you. So I appreciate you. Thank you. Y'all have a great night. Bye.